Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another working executor for Roblox. So let's get right into it. So as always, before you download the executor, make sure you've got your virus and threat protection turned off. So come into these settings and go into manage settings and turn off the real time protection at the very top. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but it's really important that you turn this off before you download the executor. Once you've turned that off, you can go into the first link in the description, which will take you to my website. It will look something like this. From there, go ahead and click on the executor download button, which will open up this page right here. Go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download destination from there go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it so here we go and then go ahead and open up the download manager and it should look something like this from there go ahead and click on next and click decline click decline again if you do wish to take any of these offers it is completely up to you otherwise you can click decline and then go ahead and copy the link that it gives you and take it back into your browser paste it in and click enter from there, go ahead and choose wherever you wish to download Fluxus. So here we go. I've chosen my desktop. Now, if for any reason your browser blocks the download, even if you have the virus and threat protection off, hold down control and press J. That will open up your downloads folder. From there, you can approve it manually. Once you do have it downloaded, go ahead and right click it and click extract all and then click extract. And that should create a new Fluxus folder on your desktop. Now, before you touch that new folder, go back into your virus and threat protection, go into manage settings, scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions. Go ahead and click that and then click on add an exclusion and choose folder. From there, go ahead and single click the Fluxus folder that you just downloaded or that you've just extracted and then click select folder. Make sure it has been added into your exclusions. Once you see it there, go ahead and go back up. And at this point, you can turn on your real time protection if you wish to do that. So once you've done all of that, you can now go ahead and open up the executor. So let's go ahead and delete these two folders and go into the executor folder go into this folder and go ahead and double click that if you see this menu right here go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway and then click yes and that will open up the download manager for fluxes for you go ahead and click on next on this menu and then choose the top option and that will start creating a new folder of fluxes with the download and the executor inside of it so let's go ahead and wait for that to open up now if it's your first time using the executor it will ask you to generate a key so i'll go ahead and show you how you can get the key now to generate the key, simply go ahead and click on get key, which will open up this website right here. Now, personally, in my experience, this website has been slightly slow, so it can take around 30 seconds to a minute to open. So just bear with it and it will open up for you. Once it does open, it will look something like this. Go ahead and click this and complete the steps. So let's go ahead and do this quickly. Here we go. From there, go ahead and click on free access with ads and that will open up this menu right here. From there, go ahead and click on I am interested and click the yellow option right there. You don't have to do anything on that page. Simply come back to this page and look for this option right here. Once it says I have already completed this step, go ahead and click that and that will take you to the next checkpoint. You have to do the same thing three times. So I will show you one more time how to do that. Well, I have to do it twice, so I'll show you two more times. So here we go. So free access with ads one more time and then go ahead and click on I am interested and then click that top option and then go back to the previous tab. And as you can see, it currently says continue with link Wordtize premium. But if you give it a couple of seconds, it will automatically continue to the next checkpoint. So let's just wait for it. Here we go. So let's go ahead and click that. And we should now have one more checkpoint to go. So let's go ahead and quickly complete that. We can also go ahead and close out of the other tabs that have opened. And there we go. So free access with add one more time. And if you get this option right here, which is the premium option, go ahead and click on the skip button. And then once the next ad pops up, go ahead and click on I'm interested and do the exact same thing again. So go back and just wait for this to now change. Here we go, it has now changed, so let's go ahead and click that, and that should give you your key. Now, this key will last you 24 hours, so after 24 hours, the Fluxus Executor will ask you for another key. So let's go ahead and click on Copy Key, and go back to our Executor and paste that in, and then go ahead and click on Enter Key. And that will go ahead and launch the Executor for you, and at this point, you're now ready to go into the game and use it. At this point, you're ready to go into Roblox, but before you do that, make sure you close out of your Fluxus Executor and go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store. And you can now search for Roblox and open that up. Once you've got Roblox open, go back into your Fluxus folder. Make sure you don't open the Download Manager again. Go into the new Fluxus folder and launch Fluxus from in there. Once the Executor opens, go ahead and click on the Inject button one time and that will inject into Roblox. At that point, you can go into any game of your choice. So let's go ahead and load into this game. All right, there we go. So I've just gone ahead and also pasted the script and let's go ahead and click on execute. And there we go. So you can see that it does work perfectly fine. I'm able to use it without any issues. One thing I want to quickly point out is that it's worth checking if you're on the 32 bit version of Roblox or the 64 bit. And to do that, go ahead and open up your task manager. So search for task manager. And once you do have Roblox open, 
it should show up in this list. From there, go ahead and click on the drop down. And as long as it says 32 bit, you're pretty much safe to use the executors without any issues. And if you're not on 32 bit, I will once again leave this little download in the description, which basically reverts your Roblox to the 32 bit version. And that essentially means that you will be able to use the executors without any issues. So make sure it says 32 bit. If it doesn't say 32 bit and it's just Roblox, that means that you're on 64 bit. So make sure you have reverted to the 32 bit before you try using the executors. Otherwise, they will not work. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.